This is our absolutely favourite time of year with Ocean Spirit because all the French divers come back. Many of the French book three or four months in Mauritius. These are a few of them. We get legendary opera singers. We get divers that come for a month or two. We get a wonderful group of people who really enjoy each other's company. And we have such a lot of fun. This is the dive that we do on Coin de Mere. When the conditions are right, when the people are right, and when we all enjoy diving, this is what we do. Our first drop is on Jabeda. This old wreck was sunk in 1986, and Bernard claims that he was a young fisherman there. I'm diving with Nando because I've been sick, so I'm taking it easy. And I'm not diving with the group who are diving separately. We'll see them later on the movie. But this is what it's looking like right now. There's not a lot of action on here. And I wondered a bit about that. Then we normally see bait balls. We normally see a lot of fish. We normally see a few uh, rays and so on, but not so much this time. There are the divers all coming along. Beautiful conditions. It's about 80 meter vis. Remember, this wreck is at 36 meters. And it's crystal clear, full of fish. Beautiful. Once we've left your better, we decide that we're going to go and dive on one of the, on the three caves. Conditions are right. There's no current. You can see it's completely calm. Even the yellow fish are hanging about, looking hopeful that something might happen. Nothing to get excited over. But it's a beautiful wreck, and it's really worth diving. So if you come to Mauritius, please book yourself onto the Jabeda wreck on Coindemir Island. Our next trip is three caves. Now this is cave number one. It's not really a cave, it's a cavern. It's a slot in the base of the island, on the southern edge of the island. There are great cracks in the island and they're filled with fish. And if you take a torch, you'll be able to look into some of the little holes and crevices in the side there and you'll see small creatures living in there. We find a lot of quite rare um, flagtail pipe fish hiding in the crevices. We sometimes see lobsters. It's really beautiful. You go in low and you come out high. So the people who are diving go in low and the people who are coming out go in, uh, come out high. Now the next one, this is serious stuff. This can only be dived when there's absolutely no current or surge because this penetrates directly into the center of the island. And when there is surge, it becomes a blowhole because it's open at the top. Now I always dive this extremely cautiously on high adrenaline and with great terror. So what you're watching is somebody filming this trip who's scared to death. I pretend that I'm very brave and tough, but actually this is a really, really demanding exercise. Nando's behind me. And Gunther is in front of me. Now we're going right into this dark looking hole. Technically, this is not a cave dive because if you're in the center at the L of the, of the cavern, you can look back and see daylight and you can look up and see daylight but it's the distance back and the distance up that's disconcerting. So I'm entering the cavern corner and I'm looking up and there above me in all this murk, it's a bit murky, you can see backscatter coming up because of my torch. And there's Gunther up there filming away something that he spotted up at the top there. Um, it's very shallow, I'm, I'm at, I'm at uh, 15 meters going up to eight meters, Gunther's hanging at seven meters. And look up, if you see there, that shiny stuff, that's water. That is the surface of the ocean. So now I've turned down and I'm turning back and I'm heading out and I've speeded up and I'm following Gunther out of the cave. Sometimes you can go up to the top if you want to, but it's not really worth anything because all you can see is r the sky. 
But basically, here we go. We're heading out. And see how narrow it is. It's right beside your shoulders when you're going through this, this crack. So you have to put on a bit of speed. Now we're safely out. And there's Gunther. Big high five from Gunther and the rest of the guys are just coming up to enter the cavern themselves. And now look at what we exit into. Isn't this incredible? This was just where all the fish were hanging out, around three caves. There's an enormous rock there that seems to divert the current. So all the hunting, f the, uh, the, the feeding fish hang out near that rock. You see, it's a very big rock there. And they all hang out there. So as you exit the cave, you can actually go onto this rock and you can just see these unbelievable bait balls. This is truly a spectacular dive. If you come to Mauritius, you have to ask if you can dive Coindemere Island because this is what it's like on a good day. Now Gunther and Petra are leaving today. We'll miss them dreadfully. They've been absolutely wonderful fun. Happy Christmas, guys. It was wonderful diving with you. Bye.